call this meeting of OIK Fiscal Court to order uh, on this 19th day of November 2024. And I'm going to ask Jason Bullock to lead us in a prayer and a pledge of flag. Bow your heads, please. Lord, we just thank you so much. We just love you and many things you've done for us. Lord, we just ask uh, that you, uh, there's been a few county employees there, Lord, that's lost loved ones. And we just ask that you be with them there in this time, especially during the holiday season, that you wrap your arms around them and, and give them, show them your love, dear Lord, and just be with them. Again, Lord, we just ask you to be with this county. We ask you to be with their employees and people that live in this county. Uh, we ask tonight, as uh, we uh, sit up here today, that you give the full wisdom and you be with us to make the right decisions for this county to grow and prosper. And again, thank you for all the blessings you've given us, dear Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, liberty, and justice for all. <coughs> Hey, uh, before you have the minutes of the October 22nd meeting, I need a motion to approve those. <laughs> motion to approve the minutes. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Yes, second. Good. Second by Michael. Okay. Now we're ready for discussion. Larry, you have questions? No, I just want to finish your evening. Okay. Are y'all ready? Mm -hmm. On Thursday, aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. like saying? The minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list, I need a motion to approve those. Make a motion to approve the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Uh, was that Michael? Yes. Motion I'll by Michael. Second by? Second. Yeah. Okay. Second by David. You trying to tell me I say? He <laughs> yeah, already did. First night. We, 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 we about to be good to a good while. Time. After about six months when the was rotten as everybody else. Yeah. Any, any discussion? On the uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Do we vote on the minutes? We didn't vote on the minutes? Yeah, we yes, did. Yes, Bills, claims, payments, and transfers. I need a motion. We are motion. You, 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 you need a vote. I'm sorry. You got him backwards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. On first, yeah. All right. Hold the like sign. Hey, the bills are paid. Before you have the uh, treasurer's 2024 financial statement, and Dale, what this maps on it, we don't go over it and prove it till after the auditor's seen it, but we got to uh, acknowledge that we got it. So we have a motion to acknowledge the receipt thereof. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second by Bo Bennett. Any questions for Ann? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh, Post like saying, motion passed. Okay, the standing orders, we got to prove those. And very quickly, tell us what the standing orders are. Uh, that's something we do at the budget season, but the new truck that we bought, there is a lease payment, and I have to get it on the standing orders in order to be able to pay that through automatic bank draft. So I just added those two line items to pay the principal and the interest on that lease payment. Do you have a motion? Motion. Motion by Bo Bennett. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. How many payments is it a year? Just two or? No, each month. Each month. It's a payment each month. <coughs> oh, uh, any more discussion? So we weren't just pre-approving, we were pre all reoccurring. You had to redo it, yeah. Redo it, okay. okay. Do you have a motion on standing order? I have to send yeah, it up to the state. Motion. I did. Okay. Any discussion? 
I, know, I heard a question too. If there's no more, I'll um, favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like signs, opposed to pass. The clerk's uh, October financial statement is just like the treasurer's. We've got to uh, uh, acknowledge we got it. Motion by Bo Benny. Second. Second by Jason, I mean by, by Michael McKinney. <coughs> Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion passed. And we have the clerk's late property tax bills. Uh, and uh, on it, we, uh, uh, we, we acknowledge that we uh, received it as well. I thought we had to prove it, but we don't have it in front of us, so we don't. We, we have it. We have it I think we're proving it. Your yeah, there's no reason they wouldn't be. I think we did, we approve them to give her the, the go ahead on all of it. So I need a motion. Motion. Motion to Dale Bevin. Second. Second to Jason Bullock. <coughs> I'll get right before today, though. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Uh, we're going to do one. We're going to do this uh, paradise plant thing now before the treasurer's accounts thing, which he already explained it to you in the in their, uh, committee meeting. Uh, but let's go ahead and bring that up. And uh, we we did we've uh, had a committee meeting, and I think the committee recommendation is we do it. Uh, uh, in talking to some of you, we've changed our mind two or three times how we wanted to do this. Uh, but I think we come back to uh, paying it from emergency reserves to be compensated by co-severance money. And I believe that's the motion you wanted to make, right, Larry? For the <coughs> Yes. No, I'm not for it. I'm not going to vote for it. Oh, I misunderstood you. I no. thought you said you would if we did that. Well, in that case, no. If he's not, you got to make it how you say. I thought we wanted to do it out of our breath. Go ahead, make a motion. I'll make a motion that we do it out of our breath. Can you give me the dollar amount? One hundred six thousand. I can't say we can take money out of something we've already committed it to. One hundred six one sixty four. We'll pay it back. One hundred six one sixty four. One hundred six one sixty four. Okay. Uh, we have a who second it. Second by Jason. And, it, and we are doing this from the ARPA, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. For the paradise park. Yeah. Go ahead and roll call. The motion's not including that Spain back, is it? It's one hundred six thousand dollars. One hundred six one sixty four. You just said we're paying it back. Is that right? Uh, that's not part of the motion. We can just look at it later. Let's go ahead and add that into the motion that you know to be paid back okay. by. Okay. Paradise. Okay. Over. Oh, what are you not? I mean, I, I thought we were taking it from that, so we wouldn't be borrowing money. Okay. No, we're not borrowing the money. We're no, taking no, the borrowing. I understand, but well, that would just taking it out before the account switch. Okay, we can discuss it like. So we're we'll just going to leave the motion with yeah. the Yeah. Just leave it at but we'll, we'll everything else can be talked about later. Need a second. Or, sorry, we need a second. Um, well, who might? Uh, second. Uh, second, but Jason. Go ahead and roll call it because I know it's not going to be unanimous. All right. Morphew? No. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Then just to be paid for out of the ARPA fund? Yes. We, we didn't change it. it. Okay. I think I was confused. I apologize. I think I was actually confusing it when I talked steps down the road. So. Oh, what we're talking about tonight. Uh, and you're a front and center. Uh, Is this the same thing you told them in committee meeting? Yes. Okay. There's two motions. Miranda has them. Okay. If you just want to go ahead and read each motion. You know better than me. Everybody has them. You want me to get it? Sorry. No, I got it. It's right here. 
She said everybody has, not just me. So he can, they can read along. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Um, this is a motion. No, this is the one for Michael. Okay, so yeah. next one. That one probably needs to be done first. You want to do that one first? I thought I had them in order. Sorry. It won't matter. The, uh, the second one, the first one is to motion to authorize the county treasurer to open a bank account with First United Bank and Trust for the arts program and to issue a check in the amount of $100 from account number to open the bank account. All this needs to open the bank account. But that's what you were talking to us about. Yeah, this is, I'll, this I'll is make a motion. getting ready to yeah, it's, it's in the packet. It's after. Keep, keep flipping. You're in order. Keep going. Further. I have a motion to do that, setting up the count with, with $100 in. Jason made a motion. Jason made the motion. Who seconded it? Both seconded it. And go for discussion. Being that all favor, say aye. Opposed like sign? Okay. That is that one? Yeah, okay. okay. And then the second one is a motion to authorize the county treasurer to create a new fund. The other was an account. This is a fund called the Arch Program. This will keep the funds for the Arch Program separate with no co-mingling of any other funds. So I need a motion for accept that to do that. This will be a, a line item. Motion. Motion by both Ben. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Any questions? How much is going in it? We, I guess we'll decide that the next meeting. Uh, 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 on first, say aye. Aye. Post like sign? Post carry. Michael, so we don't have to thumb through all this again. All right. You got your, you found yours? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to appropriate $20,000 to my father's house for kitchen upgrades, remodel invoices to be submitted to the fiscal court for payments to the vendor or invoices with canceled check may be also submitted for reimbursement to the father's house. Authorize the county treasurer to transfer $20,000 from account 84-9200-999-2020 uh, this ARPA reserves to account <coughs> number 84-5076-741-1 to my father's house in payment. Do I have a second? Do you have a second? I'll second. Second by Bo Ben. Any further discussion? And have we already committed that money? Uh, the last resolution said that anything left at the end the next court meeting would go to the arts program. Oh. I thought we'd done committed it. Well, I mean, this motion, I yeah, undo it. Okay. Morphew? No. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Bennett? Yes. Uh, David? Yes. On the Paradise motion that you're going to pay from the ARPA fund, did you need to authorize me to write the check if they're wanting to get that pretty soon. It, it, yeah, I, it, it is. It in there. Okay. But we're almost automatic on this that anymore. Okay. okay. Uh, matter of fact, to the point we'd probably say not if you don't, we didn't want you to. It can be bad if we wrote, uh, made a motion to pay something but not let her write a check for it, wouldn't it? Mm. Uh, well, we have a speaker today, uh, our own jailer, Landon Spurlock. Come front and center and talk to us. Thank you, Judge. Uh, usually I try to give you all a phone call, let you know ahead of time. I wasn't able to do that this time, so I do apologize for that. Uh, what I've handed out is a contract for a subscription, and it's basically a uh, collection service for our inmates who have left our facility and not made payment on their booking and bonding fees uh, or any medical fees they owe for. What this company does, it's, it's Advent Financial Systems. 
and the name of the program is called Pay My Jailer. Uh, so they will send out the first and second letters, uh, and they those are both copies in there as well that you can read. Uh, talks about uh, KRS 441. Uh, 265, yes, 265, and pretty much they send these letters out saying, hey, you owe this money to the detention center, you need to make payment in 30 days, uh, and then they collect on that. It would not cost the detention center or the county any money at all. They collect their fees by adding that on to the debt uh, when they send it out. So if Jason Bullock owes the jail $100, they'll send a bill out for 130 Pay my jailer gets that 30 we would get the 100 it's probably from all life. Yeah. <laughs> I just have a question. So if you turn these over to pay my jailer, mm -hmm. are you then not able to collect at the door? I believe just mean you looked over the contract and do you remember exactly how that was? So it's been a while yes. when we looked at it, but I think Michael what it indicated was if they came up uninitiated and just kind of said, Here's my payment, there would not be a fee in relation to that. However, if they received a letter, then the then Mr. and then the advent anticipates that it would receive that portion because of its action. So once they've been turned over to pay my jailer, you're probably at that point expecting the payment to go through them. Yes. Okay. And, and there was one other exception. Was it in rebond? Uh, if they got rearrested on something else, uh, there may have been one other exception about a. I, I believe. I believe that's accurate. Yes. Um, it's but, been a little bit, Michael, but I think that I've talked to I've spoken with several jailers throughout the state that use this program. Granted, they're a lot bigger facilities than we are, uh, but they they collect money every month, and it's pretty sizable checks. Uh, like I said, I, that's not really comparable to us because we're so much smaller than they are. But if they're having uh, luck with it, I would say we would as well. How far back is he able to to go? I think it's this is just going to be on probably in all likelihood present or future bookings, if I remember. I'm not for sure if they're going to take on your... your I don't have to look. I believe they can only go so far back. Right. I don't believe it's... I don't remember off the top of my head how far back it is. It would probably be more <coughs> like maybe the last year to present, I would say. But I can get you that, that number for sure. Okay. You need a motion to accept that program? Yes, please. I'll make a motion to accept your program with uh, pay my jailer. Second. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. You do say you made a motion, Jason? Yes. We have a motion. yes. Who seconded it? Oh, all right. Any further discussion or questions for Landon? Being none, I'll first say aye. Aye. Opposed to like sign? Motion carries. You have in your packet the Sheriff's 2021 UMC settlement. Everybody's got a, a copy. All we got to do is say we got it. Motion by Bo Bennett to acknowledge we received Second. the Sheriff's. Yeah, okay. Second to Jason Bull. You got the motion? Yes. Okay. Any discussion? Being none, I'm first say aye. Uh, Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Um, and also from the Sheriff's Department, we have his third quarter report from 2024. Yeah, everybody's aye. Uh, I'll acknowledge. Okay. Acceptance. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Bob. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Motion carries. Next up is uh, Ohio County Badge of Hope presentation by Amnell. I'm just going to stand here if y'all can hear me and do this real quick. The, and I'm glad uh, we have our jailer and sheriff here. The Ohio County Resources was set up as a 501c that it would be able to take donations for certain projects that would be tax deductible to people. And we had several people uh, wanting to make donations to help 
certain situations where we had people that were stranded um, or in a, an emergency situation or a time of need of um, providing them an overnight stay. So, Lorraine, then you pass this out to everyone. I'm just going to read real quick. Ohio County Badge of Hope is designed to aid law enforcement who encounter persons experiencing immediate overnight shelter and our food insecurities. Most often, it is law enforcement who are the front line in these situations. This is most often experienced in the evening and night hours, making it impossible to assist these individuals with established organizations who operate during business hours. Uh, it shows a few of the guidelines. This has been approved by the board. This is just to present it to you all so you'll know what's going on. Our next step will be to advertise uh, for anybody who wanted to make a donation. But we felt it important, uh, if you all want to chime in with anything, that the people making no, uh, donations know exactly the rules that we would be following. Uh, I've got a copy here if you want one, Dustin. Could you know? So, uh, if you all have any questions on that, uh, they could, did. Could you email? Yeah. They did, uh, after the discussion, we wanted to start very small so we would know how to operate the program before it got too big. And it is all based on donations. Are you asking for any action from the court? Nope. Okay. Just to inform Just you if you have people asking you. Uh, okay. We'll put it out on Facebook and uh, maybe the radio in the next few weeks. Um, just so y'all know what it is. Well, Sounds like a wonderful thing. So what are the requirements as far as if a person, who makes the decision? Uh, well, one of the rules is they must be a resident of Ohio County and have the ability to provide name with some form of identification. It is understood at times it may prove impossible to prove residency. Mm -hmm. This will be left to the discretion of the law enforcement officer. Because most often, and I think you can chime in, this is at 10 o'clock at night, midnight. Um, so if they, the officer felt like they needed some place to go, they would be given a voucher and taken to a hotel in the county. That's a good program. Okay. That sounds like an awfully good thing. Uh, so it's based on the discretion of, yeah. would be our officers or jailer. We would track the vouchers. A person would be able to get no more than two in a 12-month period. We use these guidelines off of the help office that is already established. Uh, their main uh, function at the help office is, is mostly utilities. They have helped with a few hotel vouchers, but their main focus is utilities. Have you, have you negotiated any kind of situation with the hotel where we get a that would be the next step. That would, maybe. Well, we have to get money first, I understand. <laughs> uh, and then talk to the hotels, and it would it would probably buy what you would call a gift certificate or a voucher to where uh, the officer could go to 911. That's where they will be located, because all officers come in there. I, the reason I ask is I know David and I have both been. I'm, I'm sure others have been in similar situations where we felt someone because of the timing and just needing it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a bad time. It's hard yeah. to get other help. Yeah. And our churches have always tried to help chip in, but it's hard to reach someone at 10:30 at night. It is. Someone's in need. Yeah, we feel like the, the officer typically is going to be the one that sees this. Yeah. I think it's a wonderful thing, and we'll be willing to contribute to it. There's much need for it. Yeah. Um, we're going to move our uh, agenda around just a little bit. Uh, we have bid, y'all remember, Dale Dom, but everybody else does, that we advertise for uh, bids, <coughs> seal bids on our uh, Rosine House or third of the cemetery. We did that several, uh, quite a while ago. We both advertised for bids on it. Well, we got them. And, uh, and we'll see what it is, and then it will be y'all's discretion whether we sell it or we don't, but we open the bids. Uh, I want my two people to do it. Uh, I tell you what, why don't uh, you're new? You and Larry, though. Is in Larry's district. 
four. Yeah, it looks like four, but Miranda really thinks the two of them are, are duplicates. There was one that got lost in the mail, and then we think it came. Is this the sale of some real estate goods? Is that what it is? Yes. Do you have any appraisal or anything? Oh, yeah. I have it okay. in my office. Yeah. I should have brought it. <clears throat> Hey, Dale, you going to read your first one? Uh, the bid is $3,010. Okay. Just, what's, how much is yours? Uh, who's, who's yours from, Dale? Okay. Mark Rafferty. Mark, yep. There. My first one's $8,100. From Phelps. Okay. How yeah. much? Uh, $4,000. Eight thousand one hundred. Oh, who's that? Jacob Okay. How much rounds are the house pretty rough shape? Yeah, it, it's it's uh, less than half acre. It's a very small lot. It, it I don't even know if it's half acre. I got Martha Shepherd at seventy five hundred. You got one over there. Is that Jacob Phelps? Yeah. Michael Rafferty, thirty-five hundred and ten dollars. Okay, which was the most one? Uh, thirty-five hundred. No, there's one. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. No, I'm sure that was that was double for Mark Rafferty, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. His his first one was thirty thousand ten. Second was thirty-five. Thirty-five. No, it's from Jacob Phelps. Or Jacob Phelps was eighty-one hundred dollars. And how much was the one from Shepard? Thirty-five hundred and ten dollars from Ray. That was. Uh, uh, how much was one from? Uh, Jacob is the one that came in the Yeah. Price. Yeah. Eight thousand. I thought you said. Okay. That's Martha Shepard. Shepard. Yeah. Okay. Eight that, well, it's up to you guys if you want to. Uh, um, Take that board if you think we should hold out and try to get most of it. Yeah. There was an idea brought up. That's way under the the praise value. What did it for? Uh, our original appraisal was thirty-five thousand. The most recent one updated because of condition was ten thousand. I think you could reject them all and then come back and bargain to get more money. But would that be fair to these people after they they have a chance to get their heart right? Not I, I told y'all though. Here's what I think. Either I was talking with some of them. Either take the eight thousand, or either knock it down. We just keep it, knock it down, and put a parking lot there for the cemetery. That it could be used for the cemetery, the barn. It could be used for Rosine. Overflow. An overflow parking lot. It's up to you. That's it. I mean, that's an option. I had mixed motion. I, I didn't think we'd get eight thousand. Either one of them be all right for me. But I don't think it would advertise it again after we're done. Well, we wouldn't have to, but you can reject all bids and then bargain. I guess. Or you can let it go, or you can, like he, like Jason said, not sell to anybody and tear it down like a parking lot. That was Michael's idea, by the way. I thought it was pretty good. I had a lot of deal. You didn't get much money out of it. It's not enough that we'd ever notice it. I, I mean, I felt like if, if the property didn't bring 8000 or more, that we should entertain it. It a lot of work to make it a parking lot. Yeah, that was our yeah. next question. That yeah. was the so, I mean, I, I'm... I'm like to, like to make a motion that we accept the eighty-one hundred dollar offer from Mr. Phelps. I and I'll second that. That may be what he's going to do. Uh, I doubt it. Yeah, and a lot would be worth. That. If it was thirty-five hundred dollars, it'd be a no-brainer. That house might not be fixed. Have you seen it? Yet? It's, it's not. not. I've been I would have fixed it. It's a lot. Yeah, but <laughs> some of the others might. But he might. But we'll see. Cool. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion on that? Yes. Yeah. There's a motion and a second. Motion and second. You got them? Yes. All in favor say aye. Close aye. like that. Motion close. Uh, give the bid, bid and the minutes and the and the uh, uh, appraisal to Justin to look over all of it. Okay. It's on the corner of my desk in Manila Road, Omnia. Okay, now then, we also open the bid for the cyber security grant, which we've advertised for. I believe there's only one. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's from a grant we've got. This is for a contractor to do that grant work. You'll have to see if there's enough grant money to cover it whenever he says that, whenever he reads it. All right. The bid is from Knights Technologies. Which already does work for us. Looks like the total, um, looks like it has about eight different line items on it, but the total is for $124,634. How much? $124,634. And who's it from? Knights Technology. And the grant's going to cover that, right, Miranda? It's at about 123 so yes, it will cover it. Uh, We'll look through there. I know he said that because of the price fluctuation, when I applied for this grant, it was over almost a year, year and a half ago that we even applied for it. So he's going to work on the computers, and then maybe something has slightly changed that we probably don't need or something else. So yeah. they have they have agreed that they will work with us. But in gist, this is absolutely what we need. Um, the state looked at it. They have a master contract with the state as well. They are certified with PACO. These are people that we constantly work with with a lot of our stuff. Uh, yeah. And they grant money. He's, they're out of Madisonville and they're contracting for 50 hours of travel. So I'm assuming you can probably make that for this. Yeah. yeah. So they have an option. We got it. The grant's for it all second. Yes, and it was a twenty percent. They've they've waived the twenty percent. They're covering it hundred percent now. Okay. Who made the motion? Uh, I'll second. Low made in case you second. Any further discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. I want to ask you guys for a short. I do mean short closed session. Uh, under uh, CARE 61-18, Chapter 1, Section F, which is personnel. Mm -hmm. All motion, second. 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 Join me in the back room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> need the motion to go back in the open session. Right, the motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second, Segment Dale Bivin to go back into open session. All in favor say aye. Aye. Both like sign. I uh, will state that no official business was, uh, uh, our motions were made inside the uh, meeting, uh, inside the uh, post session. However, the business we discussed uh, should uh, result in a motion. And I'm going to recognize uh, Larry Morpheus. I make a motion to take the money out of the reserve to keep funding this program, the uh, taking people to the doctor and stuff from, uh, until the end of the fiscal year, which is July, uh, June uh, 30th, is yes. that correct? And that's emergency reserves. Yes, emergency funds, yes. Next. Not and the ARCA funds? The, no, no. The and fund the, in the sum of $25,000. Second? Second. Second by Dale Bivin. Uh, Second for questions. Yeah, okay, questions. Uh, A discussion, I mean. When we, were, when we were back there, I thought that that was going to be from the ARPA. Money, but that, no. he's made the motion and seconds on the floor. Yeah. So uh, roll call. Yeah. Roll and, call. and understand that this is it ends at the end. Uh, there has to be a plan forward, and I think we talked to her about that. And yeah, that well, she has a plan. And I think hopefully y'all are gonna put in. They're gonna put in for grants. And stuff. They've got a grant, and there's a Title Three program we're gonna look into. Right. We've been talking to that. Hopefully that'll. We've this, talked, and I think she's going to make some phone calls. Okay. This is to fund it until the end of the fiscal year. Yeah, rope rope time. Okay. Jason, better 
Yeah. Well, one time I get it wrong, and you got it right. Oh, man. I knew it happened. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much. Yes, Okay, that motion passed. Let's move on to committee reports. I don't believe any of our Yes, they were. Just give us, Bo, give us a real quick uh, report on the, and the, uh, the, the uh, committee you just seen. Here's chair. Just tell them we're working. Tell them what we're working on this, I guess. On the trend? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we're now accepting uh, applications to transition uh, Miss Melton out of her position, and uh, I believe we've received several applications and uh, going to continue to do so. So, any other committees uh, meet? If, if not, we're going to kind of go a little backwards from what we usually do on our uh, polling our officials. Uh, I want to ask the sheriff if he's there, here, here if he's got anything for us. No, sir. I don't okay. Know. Justin? No, thank you, Judge. Larry? David? Yeah, I want to thank uh, Brian Daniels for the easy transition, helping out. I mean, it was just, just all smooth. He even came in and brought you stuff today, didn't he? Yeah, he came in and brought stuff. He was there when I swore in. Can't, can't believe it. Uh, yeah, there's one thing. Um, there's a solar project in Matanzas. I did find an update for most that um, they wouldn't be filing for application through the state until um, next summer. So for those that were looking for an update on that meeting, um, we still have quite a bit of time before that'll take place. But other than that, that's it. Thank you. Jason? No. Michael? Nothing from the first district. Thank you. Okay. Anybody from the general public got anything? I would just like to say thank you for uh, allowing this program to go on. We'll make sure that all your constituents know that you had their back because there were some from each, each uh, district. And also, thank you for the car. We uh, took it in today to Fred's and had it looked over, and they <coughs> suggested transmission and new transmission filters. So we're, we got that done today. Good deal. Thank you. Not, it's done now. This meeting will stand adjourned. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, wait a minute. One more thing she said. There you go. I was just wanting to say thank you, too. You're welcome. For the program. Thank you for the report, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Email we me. have one other thing here. Uh, the extension board, we have to make extension board appointments, and they send us uh, they send us a list of people that they want, and then they give us alternates, but I like the first two. It's Jay, Janae Mohan and Larry Clayton, and uh, that's just a roll call. Martin? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Johnson? Yes. 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 Yes